My new Bertie from Roundhouse Engineering is equipped with slip eccentric valve timing gear. The purpose of this video is to show how that works. The next video, I'll fire up this Bertie and run it for the first time. This locomotive operates with slip eccentric. It's a very elegant solution to a complicated problem. If you look, I can turn the wheel forward and now it's moving the piston valves. But when I move it back, you'll notice it engages about here. Oh, now it engages. And you see it moving. When I move it one wheel forward, it engages and starts moving that way. You can see slip eccentric a little better here on my Willesco. You go that way and then you come back and it engages boop, boop, like that. This piece over here has a pin that goes through this piece. And you see that channel. Well, you move it until it engages the pin that way. Boom. And then you move it until the pin engages the other side of that channel you see cut in there. So that's how slip eccentric works. Forward, backward. And it's a way to avoid having complicated wall shirts type or Stevenson type valve gear. It reduces the cost to manufacture a locomotive like this. It doesn't reduce the quality or the running quality. This is my Roundhouse Sandy River and Rangeley Lakes locomotive. And this is what I'm talking about. All this valve gear operated by lever reversing lever in the cab. All of this is avoided in the slip eccentric. So yeah, I have to push the engine forward with my hand one wheel revolution so that it will go in forward. And then if I want it in reverse, backwards. I'm willing to accept that. I hope my simple explanation was useful. Please share this video. And now in the next video, let's move on to running this engine.